I want to graph this parabola. The reason I know it's a parabola is because there's an x squared. Also, the word parabola is right there. But um, it has an x squared. Squared Squares have four sides, which are called a quadratic. Basically, parabolas come from quadratics. Quadratics are equations with squares. Quad for four-sided squares. It's kind of dumb. You know, square, wait, two power is a square. Anyways, x squareds are quadratics. Quadratics form parabolas. That might have been a little confusing. Now, to find the line of symmetry for a parabola, you need this formula. x equals negative b over 2a. That is a very important formula. But that formula might not make any sense if you don't first know this. You first have to know that, that standard form. This is the formula for the line of symmetry, or axis of symmetry. This is standard form. So if you look at this, a is 1, because there's 1x squared. b is negative 4. C is 3. In this particular problem, A is 1, B is negative 4, C is 3. We use only B and A, it's negative B over 2A. This is all you need, and this gives you your axis of symmetry. X equals negative B over 2A will give you your axis of symmetry. So, let's find it real quick x equals negative b, so the opposite of negative 4, over 2 times a, a is 1. So negative 4 gives us positive 4. 2 times 1 is 2. So we now have x equals 2. That is your axis of symmetry. Again, A, B, C's. We don't even need C for what we're dealing with right now. Negative B over 2A. Now, this formula you're going to have to memorize. What we do is we graph X equals 2. There's X equals 2. We do a dotted line. Now, what's important about that red dotted line is your parabola is going to wrap around that somehow. Somehow that's the center of your parabola. It's going to fold on it. Okay. Now, what we do here is we make a table. The x equals 2, do you understand that's the center of the graph? x equals 2 is the center of the graph. So do you understand it's the center of my table of values? Give me a number 1 bigger than 2. 1 bigger than 3? 1 smaller than 2? One smaller is one. One smaller than that is. Now, what you're going to do again is you, whatever you get for your axis of symmetry, that's your middle value for a table. Then you get two values above, two values below. Just go one above, one above that. You just go by increments. Now, most of you are used to going from zero to four. I kind of went backwards. It doesn't really matter. You'll see why. Now, how do we find this y value right here? You take the equation y equals blank squared minus 4 times blank plus 3. And what do you think we're going to plug in the blanks? What's x? That 2. When you plug in that 2, you end up with 2 squared, which is 4. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 plus 3. So that looks like negative 4 plus 3 is What's it look like? One. Negative 1? Yeah. So do you understand y is negative 1? This value is your y value. <laughs> we go to the graph, 2, negative 1. Do you understand this is a coordinate? x is 2, y is negative 1. So at 2, we're going to be at negative 1. 2, negative 1, I put a dot, 2, negative 1. Okay, 
Now we're going to keep doing this with the table. Do you think it'd be easier to plug in one or three? One, Hopefully you realize one will be a lot easier to plug in. So I'm going to do the equation. Again, the same equation, but we're plugging in one. So I'm plugging one in. <coughs> plugging one in for x. So one squared is one. Negative four times one is negative four. And then plus three. So one minus four is negative three. Negative three plus three is zero. So my y value is zero. Now, my coordinate is one, zero. Over one, up zero. That is my first coordinate of the problem. I am going to also plug in zero here. I'm going to plug in the values below. You could plug in whichever values, but you do one side of the line of symmetry. So I'm going to plug in zero. Zero is my favorite number always to plug in. You should know that hopefully by now. It's really easy to plug in. We're going to plug in zero. That gives us zero minus zero plus three, which is three. 